SCP-3092 is guerrilla warfare. These things are awesome, you guys. I think y'all are gonna love this SCP reaction. I thoroughly enjoy it. Very, very different from the usual, and it, it's really, really fun. The Vulcan is doing the narration part. Make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you enjoy reactions, and let's do this. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Dr. My name Dr. is Dr. Miller. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP. 3092. Object class, Euclid. Tell us about it. Special containment procedures. SCP-3092 like is right. to be contained in an empty room with a single compatible power outlet. Okay. It is not to be plugged in or stocked with toys unless actively being tested. Testing with SCP-3092 must be pre-approved by at least one level 3 staff member and at least one Foundation agent armed with a mock tranquilizer rifle Previously, a net launcher must be present in order to subdue and contain resultant SCP-3092-A instances. Okay, so SCP-3092-A instances are to be contained individually in standard containment kennels modified with two kennels? additional locks, All at right. least one of which should be biometrically operated in order to prevent further containment breaches. Oh, they so are to be provided amenities in exchange for compliant behavior but none that could serve as tools or aids in an escape attempt. Should one or more SCP-3092-A instances successfully escape containment, a team of agents armed with mock tranquilizer rifles, see Addendum 3092-1 and 2, okay, we'll should sweep the site that, until they are recontained, and all personnel should be notified of the situation, be aware of their surroundings and report any suspicious activity or, or SCP-3092-A attacks Being that immediately. It's guerrilla warfare, no plush I toys are permitted within 200 meters of any SCP-3092-A instance outside of testing purposes. Is it animated? Description. We'll SCP-3092 is a black tie toys brand arcade claw machine measuring 1.8 meters ah. tall. 0.8 meters wide and 0.9 so meters deep machine. and weighing approximately 144 kilograms while unstocked. The machine's body gotcha. and mechanical parts are all non-anomalous in nature, primarily okay. composed of steel, plastic, and various electronics, all possessing wear and tear consistent with multiple years of regular usage. Okay. Investigation has revealed that SCP-3092 was in usage for seven years prior to its anomalous properties surfacing. People waste a lot when of money When provided on these things, power <laughs> and coins of valid United States currency, SCP-3092 may be operated as a standard for commercially available claw right. machines. Its anomalous properties things. only activate whenever the operator successfully picks up one or more plush toys Which with is the claw rare, and deposits right? them in SCP-3092's <laughs> prize chute. At this okay. point, the respective plush toys will immediately transform ah, into instances ah. of SCP-3092-A. That's the gorilla, I guess. SCP-3092-A instances are mm -hmm. cotton-stuffed felt plush gorillas, possessing no identifying tags or logos, sitting at roughly 0.3 meters tall and weighing okay. 0.4 kilograms. Like a foot tall. They are sapient, communicative. All SCP-3092-A instances identified have been fluent in English wow. and capable of sight, hearing, touch, and ambulation of all four limbs. Okay. Additionally, they possess notable manual dexterity despite seeming to lack distinct digits and relevant muscular structures. Hmm. Outside of this, all instances are conventional plush toys lacking any biological components. Right. SCP-3092-A instances are remarkably proficient in various activities related to guerrilla warfare, <laughs> such as stealth, <laughs> weapon improvisation, trap, trap setting, setting, and the maintenance and usage of a variety of small arms. Can you imagine, they also dude? appear to it's possess terrifying. ideologies, crudely resembling various real and fictitious guerrilla rebel groups. Really? They are capable of developing and staging complex plans individually or as a group and regularly attempt to breach containment with limited success. <laughs> However, okay. thus far, all SCP-3092-A activity appears to have been intended to annoy or inconvenience ah, rather than cause legitimate damage to its targets. All weapons employed by SCP-3092-A instances have been non-lethal in nature, so they causing been only minor injuries. Anybody. Opportunities to cause severe damage to Foundation assets, such as through arson or the containment breach of other SCP objects, have been ignored in favor of more superficial attacks. 
Attempts to question SCP-3092-A instances on the subject have <laughs> failed, with all instances <laughs> insisting talking. that their attacks are massively damaging with many casualties. Implements and tactics frequently used include slingshots, small catapults, so they previously think trip hazards, crazy the amount of damage, 3092 graffiti, glitter bombs, and buckets or canisters of various liquids placed atop partially opened <laughs> doors. Like All SCP-3092-A instances created by SCP-3092 have thus far possessed distinct personalities, beliefs, objectives, and identities. That's However, strange, when an dude. instance of SCP-3092 comes into physical contact with a non-anomalous plush toy, that plush toy will immediately be transformed into an identical ah, instance so of SCP-3092-A wow. with similar baseline personality, mm -hmm. ideology, and behavioral patterns so to the SCP-3092-A <laughs> instance which <laughs> created break. it. SCP-3092-A wow. instances People appear to be themselves. aware of this property mm -hmm. and will attempt to make use of it in order to bolster numbers. Mm -hmm. Many instances will, after being created, attempt to re-enter SCP-3092 in order to convert any applicable toys remaining ah, inside. The sh SCP-3092-A instances can be ripped, torn, or otherwise damaged with no greater difficulty than a conventional plush toy. So Reactions to defeat. damage have been universally and melodramatically negative, with instances typically expressing hyperbolic pain over even superficial damage. Wow. Severe injuries such as deep punctures or tears to the torso, detachment of limbs, or decapitation will result in death, with instances uh -huh. falling to the ground and ceasing to move, typically after a long wow. period of exaggerated expressions of pain. However, okay. in cases less severe than complete incineration, instances appear to only They're be only playing dead, dead as repeated disturbance of these corpses will result in them being briefly returned to activity and requesting that this disturbance stop, stop as they dying. are out of the game. <laughs> Due to oh. this information, as well as SCP-3092-A's huh. lack of a nervous system, it is not currently believed that they, that they actually, actually feel, feel pain. pain. Right. Repair of damaged SCP-3092-A instances through conventional stitching, patching, and restuffing is typically sufficient to alleviate instances expressed pain and death states, and is interpreted by them as medical attention. Right. Currently, 23 instances <laughs> of SCP-3092-A are in containment by the Foundation. Okay. Recovery. SCP-3092 was retrieved on 050320 from, from Family Restaurant and Arcade in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. After animal control officers responding to a call there noted anomalous activity. <laughs> Upon Foundation agents' arrival to the scene, it Can is imagine? believed that 21 SCP-3092-A instances had been created through both SCP-3092 and their own duplication properties, uh -huh. and restaurant facilities were considerably defaced. Oh, After wow. killing several aggressive instances with small arms fire, the remaining instances surrendered to Foundation officials and were contained <laughs> along with SCP-3092 after it was determined the source of anomalous activity. Civilians present were amnesticized and a cover story of an escaped yeah. pet chimpanzee was distributed. <laughs> Addendum 3092-01 On 05-18-20, one SCP-3092-A instance initiated a containment breach and fled via an adjacent hallway. Okay. Agent Megan Cho, noticing this activity while standing guard outside SCP's containment chamber, fired on the instance with a tranquilizer rifle she was armed with. Curiously, the subject appeared to pass out, Which... falling to the ground and ceasing all activities, uh -huh. besides occasional twitches and mock snorts. SCP-3092-A <laughs> instances are not otherwise noted to possess a regular sleep cycle. Oh my god, these things subject sound was fun, recontained dude. without incident and awoke several hours later. Right. Due to increased effectiveness and lowered risk over net launchers or firearms, it is recommended that Foundation agents use tranquilizer weapons in the recontainment of SCP-3092-A instances yeah. in the future. <laughs> Addendum 3092-02 After testing, it has been determined that any weapon firing feather-tipped pneumatic darts is sufficient to induce a sleep state in SCP-3092-A, regardless of whether, whether said dart is actually it. loaded with tranquilizers. Like the aforementioned death state, it is believed that this sleep state is performative on SCP-3092-A's part, 
To minimize the potential for collateral damage to Foundation personnel, mock tranquilizer rifles should be used in place of actual These tranquilizers. These things would be fun to bring to a birthday Addendum, party, man. 3092 3 <laughs> On 06 09 2 SCP-3092-A instances simultaneously escaped containment and fled through the building's ventilation system right. before setting up a tripwire in the office of Dr. <laughs> Martin Helmer, <laughs> intending for him to trip, fall, and land face first on a pillow with a crude insult written on it. <laughs> However, upon entering his office, Dr. Helmer tripped, fell, hit his shoulder against a bookshelf, and suffered a Ow. fractured collarbone, an Ow. injury much more severe than any induced by prior SCP-3092-A containment breaches. Upon discovering this, both instances remorse. immediately expressed remorse, informed other Foundation officials of the situation, and were compliant in recontainment. Investigation revealed later that several amenities within these instances' cells had been converted into gifts and apology oh, cards intended wow. for Dr. Homer. Further breaches by SCP-3092-A instances have not been noted to employ trip hazards of any sort. Wow! Guys, these are co these are so cool. These monkeys, these instances are straight up gangster. Like they they want to plan a battle and recruit infantry and launch an all out assault on people to like do their exercises, right? Like they're really going into battle and pretending, but they pretend to be hurt and killed and they never want to do real harm. In fact, when they do, they're really remorseful about it. What a fun, cool SCP, man. This is this is really, really interesting. These would have been a riot at kids' birthday parties, man, outside of the tranquilizers, you know? Maybe with a little bit of coaching and coaxing and maybe some potential reward, like in exchange to play with these kids and make them have an awesome birthday, why don't y'all just hold back on the severe tactics? Just, you know, like, like make it a crazy pillow fight. Let's do some nerf battles, you know what I mean? They'd probably be all for that. This was really, really cool. Guys, the Vulgan, make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to check this one out.